My name is Dr. Christopher Cornwall, and I'm a Rutherford Discovery Fellow at the School of Biological Sciences, Te Hiranga Victoria University of Wellington. So my research seeks to understand how climate change will impact the ability of what we call calcifying species to grow. So ocean acidification is a process of decreasing seawater pH, and this is caused by the increases in CO2 in the atmosphere. And this CO2 is absorbed into the surface waters of the world's oceans. It decreases what we call seawater pH, so making it more acidic and less alkaline. And what it also does is it changes the types of carbon that are available in in seawater. Together these two processes impact the ability of calcifying species to grow and make their skeleton. Coral and algae are the pink stuff that you see on the rock and they're really ecologically important. So what we found with both coral and algae and corals, there were a range of species that had specific uh, metabolisms and so some species were inherently able to resist ocean acidification and there are a range of other species, most of them, that weren't able to resist ocean acidification. We next wanted to understand whether they could gain the ability to tolerate acidification. And so we ran an eight generation experiment and found that after six generations, this one specific species of coral and algae were able to gain the ability to resist the effects of ocean acidification. So winning this prize means to me a great deal. It's humbling to receive this award. Uh, I think it's an ideal time for this type of research to be awarded. Climate change is impacting our marine ecosystems. So to me, that is a, an acknowledgement of the problem, but also an acknowledgement of some of the cutting edge research that myself and my great colleagues have done in the past, understanding the mechanisms involved in determining how climate change will impact species across a broad range of, of physiologies and environments.